This is a graph that shows not only the, 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 red, the red dots on the right are the wheat grain. And you see that the wheat grain is variable, but it's much less variable than the, the, all, than the other byproducts. So the, the, the big yellow banana, uh, it's all the middling byproducts. Well, not the middling, but the, middling, the main, the, the, the middlings, the shorts, and then you got the brands and the feed flour. And this is driven by the expression of starch, but what we call middlings, so the, the big banana in the middle, it's huge. The variation is about between 20 and 60 percent protein. And we, we can cut it in uh, different categories, but uh, it's still difficult. And it's, it's a continuity. There is no product when you can say, well, this is brand, this is middlings. Uh, and also the, the, the manufacturers, uh, they take all the output of the, of the meal and mix the, and mix the output to create uh, more or less specific products. But there are many, many plants and many feeds that are underused and undervalued around, around the planet. Uh, we've been working on Feedipedia. Feedipedia is a worldwide encyclopedia of animal feeds, and it is uh, made by INRA, CIRAD, AN, and FAO, and with concerning with Adiseo. And, uh, and Feedipedia, we are trying to, to try to, to write data sheets about each possible, each possible feed. And what we found by, when we made this, uh, the database, the database behind Philippedia, uh, if we take all the samples we collected around, uh, in many, many years, uh, we get more or less uh, 30 plant species. We can find value in variation, and the, the, the whole day, the, the whole two days will be about this. Uh, we have to face it, it exists, it's very large, but uh, it's, it's a problem, but uh, we'll see that there are it can become an asset uh, once it's known and, uh, and studied and estimated and so on.